boy. <laughs> Breaking news. The ATF brace rule is dead. And now you all can go back to putting all the sweet SB tactical braces on your AR and AK pistols without worrying if you're breaking the law or having to pay a $200 tax and waiting for three months, kind of. But first, let's take a quick trip down memory lane. In 2012, Alex Bosco invented the pistol brace to help a disabled veteran shoot his AR better. He sent the design to the ATF to ask if the brace turned the gun into an SBR. The ATF examined it and said, Nah, you're good. After this, pistol braces became very popular, not only with people who were disabled, but also with people who weren't disabled because putting a traditional stock on a gun with a barrel less than 16 inches, as was required by the ATF, also required that you had to register it with the ATF, pay a $200 tax, and then wait three months for an approval. Or if you didn't do those things, you'd go to jail. Now, people quickly realized that the braces did a decent job of making the AR and AK pistols usable enough compared to dealing with the red tape of using a traditional stock, even if it was much better than using a brace. Now, the ATF saw this and they didn't like this, but they already said that the braces were okay. So they tried to finesse the language of the rule a little bit. They did this song and dance for over five years, but nothing stuck because you see, the ATF can't make laws. They can only make rules. So they had to be crafty about how they tried to change the language of the rule so that it didn't have the effect of a law. Now, the ATF started feeling some type of way now that gun companies were now selling AR and AK pistols with braces on them instead of selling them as pistols and then the consumer puts a brace on them of their choosing. Doing what government agencies do when they can't win by playing by the rules, they just flip the board over and don't play by the rules. And on January 31st, 2023, the ATF published a new rule saying that all those guns out there with pistol braces on them will now be classified as SBRs. And anyone that has a gun with a brace on it has 120 days to either destroy it or pay a $200 tax and register it with the ATF or go to jail. Keep in mind, at this point, there were millions of people with pistol braces on their guns. Now, in response to this rule, the Firearm Policy Coalition, Maxim Defense, William Mock, and Christopher Lewis brought a suit challenging the rule. When the case got to the Fifth Circuit of Court of Appeals, they basically said the ATF went too far and sent the case back to Judge Reed O'Connor. Judge Reed O'Connor issued a preliminary injunction, i.e. ATF can't enforce this law, except it only applied to the members of the Firearm Policy Coalition, the Maxim Defense owners, and William Mock and Christopher Lewis. So, all those people were protected, but everyone else was shit out of luck. That was until Wednesday when Judge Caxmark, whose name I can't seem to pronounce, took it even further in the Brito v. ATF case where he said this. The court is certainly sympathetic to ATF's concern over public safety in the wake of tragic mass shootings. The rule embodies salutary policy goals meant to protect vulnerable people in our society, but public safety concerns must be addressed in ways that are lawful. This rule is not. For the foregoing reasons, the court grants the motion and stays the rule in its entirety. Long story short, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course you're claiming this rule is about safety. And I want people to be safe too. But just because you say a rule is for safety doesn't mean it's not unlawful. And because this rule is unlawful, you can't enforce it on anyone in the United States. So there you have it. Now you can buy all the AR and AK pistols you want and put whatever brace you want on them and you don't have to register them with the ATF. However, if you were one of those poor souls that registered your gun during the 120 day period, those guns are now officially considered SBRs, which means you can put a stock on them, but now you can't cross state lines with it unless you get permission from the ATF. I personally think the ATF knew they wouldn't win this and gave the 120 day period as a sneaky way to scare people to get them to register their guns before the court ruled against their rule. And to some degree, it worked as there were about 255,000 people that did register their brace gun. Now, the ATF could appeal this decision, but if they did, they'd be appealing it to the same court who said the rule is unlawful and sent it back down to the lower courts. So I highly doubt that the same court is then going to do an about face and now say that the rule is lawful. But I've seen crazier things in the past few years, like Biden as president. So there's that. Now, before you all start running off to go buy all your AR and AK pistols and all the braces that you want, 
Make sure you head over to shop.mrcoleonnoir.com because we just released our new premium grade embroidered hoodies. Like this design here with the blacked out 8K, which is my personal favorite. But we also have them in all of the other designs that we've had in the past. Except this time, they're all embroidered, as you can see. Mm-hmm. It's nice. It's sexy, ain't it? Yeah, I think so, too. So, head over to shop.mrcoleonnoir.com and check out all of our new designs. Check out our new premium grade hoodies with the embroidery. And uh, make sure you uh, click, like, and subscribe. And also leave a comment letting us know what you think of the law. And also leave a comment telling us... What brace gun are you going to buy next? Because I'm telling you right now, I'm about to go pick up some of my damn self. So, subscribe to the channel, share this video with everyone who needs to hear about it, and uh, have fun. Go buy your braces and go buy your get pistols and uh, head over to shop.mrcolonnoir and buy your gear so you can shoot it in.